Hey, what's up everybody? Instructor Trucker here. Uh, we're going to scale our load today. Uh, thankfully, uh, I've gotten a little bit overweight on my axles. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I've been waiting on good weather. It's 82 degrees where I'm at. I'm in Tallulah, Louisiana, and I am a little overweight, so let's get into it. All right, as you can see, uh, for the experienced drivers, you already know what the problem is, but for the inexperienced drivers, uh, we've got a little bit of problem. So the first thing we want to we want to make sure is that our gross weight is under 80,000, which we are. We're 2,800 pounds under. All right, so that's good. Uh, the steer axles is 11,520. Uh, the drive axles 31,180, and this trailer axle is 34,500. Now, the steer axles is supposed to be 12,000, which we are under. The drives and the trailers are supposed to be 34,000. We are under on the drives and 500 over on the trailer. Now, when you go to adjust the tandems on your trailer, you have to remember that each hole represents approximately 250 pounds. If you adjust your fifth wheel, it's approximately 500 pounds now here's the here's the trick on adjusting when you when you need to figure out and you're unsure which way you need to adjust on your trailer you move the axles to the problem on the fifth wheel you take them away from the problem so when we go to adjust we're going to shoot it to the back why because if you look at it this is the front of the truck, this is the middle of the truck, this is the back of the truck. Um, and when I, when I say that, I'm talking about from the front bumper of the truck to the rear bumper of the trailer. So, we're going to go back. Now, if the 34500 was on the drive axles, then we would go forward. But in this case, we have to go back. So, each hole represents 250 pounds, so we already know that we're going to want to go at least two holes to get it to the 34,000 mark but that's still not where you want to be you're going to want to go in an additional uh two holes and that's going to take a thousand uh, approximately a thousand pounds off the trailer and it should put it around 33.5 somewhere in there now of course anytime you scale you're going to want to make sure you uh have uh your diesel tanks uh, full if you got def fill it up or you know make sure that you're gonna have enough to get where you're going you always want to scale on a f uh, full fuel tanks uh, just to get that extra weight on there and if you don't know it for those of you who don't know it one gallon of diesel fuel weighs approximately seven pounds so just throwing that out there for you so let's do the math real quick. So we're going to take uh, the 34,500 and we're going to minus the 31,180. And so that's the difference, 3,320 pounds. Now, if you divide that by 250 holes, that's 13, about 13 holes is what you would have to move it. But if you move it, the total 13 holes then you're going to take the weight from here and then you're going to put it all up here and then you're going to be overweight on your drive so now what you want to do is you want to divide this in half so about six and a half holes is what you're going to want to go since you don't have a half of a hole back there to go and it's over the half mark we're going to go move it seven we're going to move it seven holes towards the back and that uh that's going to even the weight out uh this is a first scale um if you're if you're new to the industry and, and you're still unsure uh and you want to re rescale your load when you go back up there to the monitor and uh, you know they ask you is this the first way or a reway when you reway 
this number right here is the number that you're going to give them. Uh, your first your first ticket is 1150 every reway. After that, at the same truck stop, on the same load, is an additional two dollars, two fifty. I think they're two fifty now. Uh, so uh, a little tool that you're going to want to use is this is what I have. This is a tire marker. Uh, we use it to mark the tires, uh, especially in the winter time uh, when we're dealing with a lot of ice to make sure that our axles, our brakes ain't locked up and we're not dragging our tires. And when I go back, I'm going to show y'all uh, how to mark the tires in this video as well. So seven holes, let's go to the back and uh, get this figured out real quick. As you see, I drive for PTI out of Sykeston, my truck number, trailer number. So we gotta go seven holes to the back. And real quick, I'm gonna show you how to mark your tire. You can do, I always put uh, three lines right there. If you've ever seen them and you wonder what they're there for, uh, that's the reason so we can see them turning. And of course, you'd want to do them uh, back here as well. And sometimes I like to draw it, draw them on the front as well. That way I can see them turning a little bit better. So, what we want to do is we want to find our locking pin. There's our locking pin. Now, we want to make sure that we can go. Uh, seven holes to the back now when I mark these what I do is right here when I'm on the back this is where this is where I'm at because this pin has to go to the back and I mark right here I mark under this pin because these are going to stay lined up this part is what's moving So, and I put that mark on the front of this pin because I don't want to bring this past here. So now we're just going to count. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So back there is where we're going to want to go. mark it right above it because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line that mark up with that with this mark I'll line them up and that way it makes it real easy for me to adjust if you were going to have to move them forward then you would do the same on this front pin you would uh, count from the front pin up you would uh, still mark it on the bottom, and you wouldn't, you'd put this uh, behind it because you don't want to go past where you're already at. Uh, this right here, this is what releases. Make sure that your trailer brakes are set because if your trailer brakes aren't set, you'll feel the tension behind here and it won't release these now here's the trick when you get these adjusted you get back in your truck you can actually release your trailer brake and pull it again and these will come back out you don't have to get come back out here and push this back in to release them you can do all of that with your trailer brake, so I, I'm not going to show you the aftermarks because uh, I am in a hurry. But that's a uh, quick tip on how to adjust your axles uh, when you're overweight. If you have any uh, comments or questions, leave them below. We'll see you down the road.